sending the warmest greetings to our fellow Catholics. We are thrilled to welcome you back to our channel. Wishing you a good day full of grace in Christ. Before discussing today's topic, let us pray, offering our petitions to our Heavenly Father. O Supreme God, in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who sacrificed himself to save us, your pitiable children, from the fires of hell, please listen to our prayers. We offer you our meager sacrifices. We accept challenges and sufferings as a means to bring about the redemption of souls in this warning. We implore your forgiveness for sinners who find it difficult to return and embrace your mercy, that they may offer to you the necessary sacrifices and make amends before you. Amen. Today we will talk about a message from Luz de Maria, Global Blackout Will Soon Come. We hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, may God always bless you. Now, Turning our attention to the message from the Most Holy Virgin Mary to Luz de Maria on March 6, 2023. Beloved children of my heart, I keep you protected from snares. Little children, evil now focuses on the children of my Divine Son. As a mother, I implore you to adore my Son and foster unity and love among yourselves. Let an impenetrable barrier be formed against evil. Do not be discouraged, continue walking steadfastly towards my Divine Son, armed with faith. It is through faith that you will overcome the unfolding events. Children, understand the importance of staying united with the Holy Spirit. Beseech Him for His gifts, graces, and virtues. In this era of the Holy Spirit, earnestly ask Him, with unwavering faith, to bless you ceaselessly with His love, fostering fraternal love among brethren. I invite you to invoke the Holy Spirit during trials. Consider the needs of each person, whether facing health challenges, spiritual struggles, or lacking in faith. Pray to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, giver of gifts, fill me with your love and provide what I need to be a better child of God. And if I am worthy of your divine grace, fill me with yourself. Beloved children, the Holy Spirit will abundantly bestow upon His faithful all that is required spiritually and physically to confront the forthcoming trials. Each individual must be fully prepared to be adorned with the gifts bestowed by the Holy Spirit. Humanity will face the onslaughts of nature, and offenses against my Divine Son are so severe that the human race is on the brink of its own Tower of Babel collapse, symbolized by technology. A global blackout is imminent, yet disbelief persists. You have been instructed to document what you receive, but some among you have neglected this duty. The Father's house has forewarned of a new disease, met with skepticism. To combat this ailment, utilize colostrum and the oil of the Good Samaritan. Beloved children of my Divine Son, war will swiftly descend upon humanity, catching many unprepared. Communists have united globally to unleash attacks one after another. I grieve for the pain endured by humanity, distorted by those who should guide according to God's law. Pray, children, for sudden storms will intensify, surprising many. Pray, for the human race follows its own religion, displeasing my Divine Son. Pray, for food scarcity will afflict my children. Pray for Chile and Indonesia. Darkness looms, but faith will illuminate the path and the hearts of my Divine Son's children, granting them the experience of divine love, divine mercy, and the protective embrace of Saint Michael the Archangel with his legions. My maternal protection surrounds each one of you. Call upon me, I stand before you, loving and holding you in my heart. Convert, children, convert. Mother Mary, Hail Mary, Most Pure, Conceived Without Sin. This concludes the message from Our Lady, dear brothers and sisters. These warnings are weighty, 
and it pains our mother to witness humanity's reluctance to listen. Food shortages present significant challenges in many African nations. Do not dismiss these messages, share them persistently until awareness dawns. Prepare as much as possible and remain vigilant. In these uncertain times, it is crucial for us as Catholics to confront the encroaching darkness on our world. The scriptures, as stated in Ephesians 6 verse 12, remind us that our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against spiritual forces of evil. Engaged in a spiritual battle, our faith becomes the guiding light in times of darkness, assuring us that God is in control, and His promises will prevail. In John 1 verse 5, we find solace, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. This light, embodied in Jesus Christ, calls us to be bearers of His love, mercy, and truth amidst prevailing darkness, empowering us to overcome the forces of evil. As stated in Hebrews 11 verse 1, our faith assures us of the unseen, providing hope even when darkness appears overwhelming. In holding steadfast to our faith, we become witnesses to the transformative power of God's light. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's topic? Please leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell button to receive notifications when there's a new video. May your moments of adoration before Christ's presence be filled with His grace and love. May you find solace and strength in His embrace. Amen.